All right, guys. Now, <laughs> this is the exciting part right here. All right, VPN. Getting VPN to work on your open wart uh, setup here. All right. So here I am at um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, at uh, my open wart little dashboard home thing, whatever it's called here. Now here's the fun bit about this. So I'm in Egypt, right? So this would be a perfect example. So I'm gonna try and go to Funimation, right? Uh, Funimation is not available in Egypt. So let's try to see if we can get to, now what's it called? Um, like I said, like the release candidate version, right? So we should be, we'll see what happens. All right, so here we go, right? Sorry, but this content isn't available in your country, right? Um, one of the things, right, you can use is you can use a VPN, right? So I was in the US, right? I, I live in Egypt now for a bit before I go back. It'll be a bit before I go back, but I wanna be able to continue watching my anime. So what can I do, right? Obviously, it'd be super. E it'd be significantly easier if you just install the uh, VPN on the computer, right? And then just do that. Um, but sometimes that doesn't work. Um, and uh, I believe Edge, because Edge uses the Chromium uh, stuff that Google Chrome does, right? You can install a, probably a VPN extension. And I know the VPN extension works for whatever reason the desktop application does it. But let's say neither, you don't wanna do neither one of those. Matter of fact, let's say you wanna be able to have all your devices be able to access stuff, right? Because that's just on the computer, right? If I wanted to stream on my phone, I'd have to use a VPN app, which there's no guarantee it'd work like the desktop app doesn't, the desktop app doesn't work, right? So what do I do? So first thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead, let's go hit up software. You know, we're gonna update our little list here. Um, and while that's going, right, you need to figure out your uh, VPN settings, all right? What I mean by that, and uh, I'm gonna clear my thing up here by just closing all the tabs. Um, so I use Hotspot Shield, right? So I'm going to sign in in the Hotspot Shield I'm going to sign in Hotspot Shield and I'm going to go ahead and go to devices there, right? And I'm going to go ahead and unlink this just so I can show you guys just like how you set this up from scratch, right? So let me just refresh that and this shouldn't be here anymore, all right? All right, cool, right? So now what do I do, right? So you need to figure out like the router settings for your, um, uh, for your particular VPN, right? Every VPN, um, a lot of the good ones actually do have like some configurations already preset for you. But um, like see here, you're gonna need to, uh, you gotta like know all these different things here that you gotta set up individually and do this and that and all this stuff. Yeah, it's all a bunch of stuff, right? Um, what a lot of VPNs also have, which is a lot more convenient is they just have a file. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to install, all right, I'm gonna install OpenVPN, right? So let's do OpenVPN. We want the OpenVPN-OpenSSL, right? <clears throat> and I see they have a Wolf SSL, which I don't know who that one is, we're gonna stay away from now. So before I do though, one odd bug I did have was that my terminal um, required SSL once I installed it, um, but that seems to have been resolved now. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install OpenVPN OpenSSL, right? So let's do that, all right? And now we are going to install the the actual application, right? O OpenVPN application, all right? So let's go ahead and get that installed. All right, cool. And it's in there, right? So now what we're gonna do is, let's go ahead and go to, um, like I said, just jump into something else real quick. And then there we go, VPN, right? So the VPN's up. All right, here's where it gets uh, a bit uh, mm, spicy. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit link router, right? So let's go ahead and hit link router. And here we go, right? So you're gonna get a username and you're gonna get a password, all right? so. We're gonna set our virtual location to the United States and then we're gonna download the file. So here we go, right? So as you can see, it's I'm um, downloading the OVPN file here. So I'm gonna do that and boom, right? So now what I'm going to do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna call this 
uh, right here under the open VPN configuration file hotspot shield we're going to click there right you can name it whatever right I just you know do that I'm gonna click the OVPN file right and hit upload all right it's there right so now we should be able to just start this and everything work right nope all right so now what do we do need to do next right besides save changes um, we need to now actually go in here and what you need to do is you need to copy this right this um, this line over here to this part where it's auth user pass you need to then paste that line space right space and then paste that line in it and then you need to copy your username new line right the password paste right <clears throat> and then you need to hit save and so now that I hit save if I go back right I should be able to start it now right nope let me just save let me right, hit save changes all right let's go ahead and save changes real quick and start nope right still still no dice but what gives right well now what you need to do is you need to actually do some quick uh, interfacing right so let's go into interface right we need to make a new interface we're gonna call this one uh, tune zero right for tunnel you can I mean I mean I'm sure you can name it whatever you want but um, this is what a lot of instructions usually tell you to do when it comes to open wart so ton zero and then I guess if you want to have multiple VPNs right you do ten one ton two but we're going to do ton zero going to do unmanage and then we're going to leave um, for the device I'm going to put custom and put ton zero here as well hit enter right and then we're going to create the interface Boom, we're gonna create the interface. Now here's the thing, right? Some things tell you to, to uncheck bring up on boot. I actually leave that checked. And the reason being is because I tend to have issues where um, when the router restarts, um, this interface will error out and then it's, it becomes a problem. So one important thing to note is that the router will, from this point now, always automatically turn on your VPN whenever it restarts. Right. If that's what you wanted to do, then you're good. If not, uh, after this is all set up, you need to just go back to the settings under OpenVPN and where your router settings are, where it has that enable checkbox, just uncheck it. And then that'll make it manual where you'll have to come into your router to uh, actually turn it on or off uh, whenever you want it on and off. Uh, again, if you wanted to automatically cut on, you could just leave it on. But having this uh, this interface come on on boot will automatically cut on whatever VPN is enabled in your uh, Open VPN settings. So just keep that in mind. Uh, me being in Egypt, where I have really low bandwidth, um, having a VPN, I only use it when I absolutely have to because then I, I get a huge slowdown because I just don't have the bandwidth for it. Because uh, as you know, VPNs. You know, have a are, are a little slower than just straight up regular internet access. So for me, it's just beneficial for me not to have it automatically cut on whenever the router restarts, since I have power outages uh, semi frequently out here. So here we are, right? We are now going into the firewall settings, right? And what you need to do is you need to put it on the WAN. So click here, firewall settings, create or assign it to a zone, and assign it to the WAN zone, right? You don't need to do anything else right now. Let's go ahead and hit save, um, and then we're going to apply and see if that works there, right? If this doesn't work, then we got some firewall stuff to do. But we're going to test this out now and see what happens, right? So here we go. It says uh, error network device is not present, right? And that's usually uh, that's usually what happens. Let me hit enable, right? Because I don't think I enabled it. Nope. So still no go, right? All right. So now let's go ahead and let's hit our firewall up. Okay. So now, right here, so this first section right here, we want to hit edit. So the land the WAN, hit the edit, right? And then what I am going to do is I'm going to go to advanced settings. And for covered devices, I am going to select uh, Tune Zero, which I don't know why it's not here. It should be. It's supposed to be right here. Um, yeah, that's kind of strange that it's not but let's go ahead and let's go here and apply 
All right, now let's try it again. There we go. Yeah, I just needed to apply, sorry. So, <clears throat> all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make it a covered device. We are going to save, apply that. <clears throat> All right, and now I am going to go back to our VPN and look at that, right? It's, uh, it's, it's active now, but is it really? What you need to do is a lot of times you need to check and make sure that it works. Before we even click on the, um, on a web browser real quick to see if we still got internet, uh, it's just be a lot easier if we just go ahead and hit diagnostics and let's do a quick IPv4 ping. Well, it didn't error out immediately, so that's that's a good sign. And five packets sent, five packets received. Uh, let's try IPv6. Um, IPv6 doesn't work. That's not a problem. There are going to be situations I before making this video because um, I had to practice. Obviously, um, I had an issue where my router was only doing IPv6. And I had to actually change some configurations in order to get it to work. It's nice to see that now it's working with IPv4, but we'll see how long that lasts. Um, but anyway, now, okay, so we know we have internet, right? So now we're going to come back over here. Let's open up Google. Let's open up Google and let's see if it works, right? Again, right, um, you know, VPNs and proxies are always slower than using your regular internet, right? Keep in mind that me being in me where I am right at regular speeds is already around 200 kilobytes per second. So obviously a VPN um, uh, uh, drag my speeds down even more. And as you can see, uh, we're not getting any internet access. Unfortunate. All right. Let me duplicate this tab. No access. And as you saw, you saw that we, our IPv4 was working just fine, right? And our computer is showing that it has like some kind of internet access. Look, see that, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm gonna go ahead and ping Google. Request timed out. All right. Yep. Request timed out. So it's 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 not uh it definitely ain't working. All right. So now let's go ahead and let's uh play around a little bit with trying to get this to work. So let's go to edit on this other side, cover networks, and it's already got it down here. Let's also add that to this one. Hit apply. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I probably needed to put it in both, but we don't know that yet. Let's uh, interface. Let's go back to the interface. Still nothing, right? Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reboot and see if that works. All right, we are back in. Let's go ahead. Our computer is still saying that there's internet access. Let me refresh Google. Google is working. Let's check to see if our VPN is up. Our VPN is up. Uh, let's go to the interfaces. And the device is still not present, right? So maybe the VPN thing part didn't catch up with it. But we're about to find out, right? Um, as a matter of fact, let me open up. There we go. It's this one. Let me move it over there. All right. So let's actually test it and see. And... And would you look at that, right? And like I said, right, see, this stuff isn't always perfect. Um, I'm going to refresh this one more time just to make sure, all right? And it's saying that, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's recognizing us as in, um, in the United States right now. Here's the IP address that it's given us. And it's showing in, in New York, right? So that means, moment of truth, right? If I go ahead and, in fact, I'm going to just use this duplicate one here, right? So let me... Let me refresh this. Funimation. Come on, Funimation. I pay for this. I do pay for this. All right. And like I said, I'm only in Egypt temporarily for some time, right? I, I will move back to the United States uh, at some point. But as you can see, guys, and here we go, right? So Funimation is up and going. 